now we know for, for a fact that there are so many planetary systems out there, therefore you expect there's a lot of life out there, where are they? Why haven't they come and visited us? It's sort of a you know, quick way of describing uh, the question. And, um, but yeah, I think uh, uh, it's an interesting thought to, to contemplate. I think there are many, many explanations for, for why they haven't come here. It could be, like I was saying, we're just not interesting enough, right? I mean, how many times do we stop on the street and, and, and have conversations with bacteria? Right? So if we're bacteria, you know, they're like, let's wait, you know, you know, a billion years and maybe at that point we'll pay some attention. But there are other explanations too. I mean, maybe uh, life is rare, right? I mean, we always have this idea in mind to think that at this point life is commonplace. Well, we don't know that. Or maybe life is commonplace, but intelligent life is rare. Right? I mean, if that asteroid hadn't smashed into us 65 million years ago, who knows, maybe it's still dinosaurs walking around and they're not building radio telescopes and sending out spaceships. You know, the other possibilities are, are, are legion. I mean, the universe now, 92 billion light years across, the observable universe in terms of the things that we've had calls of contact with. We have traveled one and a half light seconds <laughs> from Earth. We have sent out probes that have gone out, I don't know, five or six light hours. Right. So to say, why aren't they here? The universe is a big place. And it's not so easy to travel over large distances if you're constrained by the barrier of the speed of light. So what, what's, the, what's our furthest impact on the universe? Just bad television from 70 years ago? Is that? Uh, yeah, so, so if you take, well, seven, so, no, I mean, I guess TV, you know, radio signals. Go, right. go back to, say, the 1900s. So maybe, you know, generously, 150 light years, if you allow, you know, any transmission that we sent out there. That's so 150 light years compared to, you know, 92 billion light years, yeah. right? That's not much. Although I, I, the intuition is that if, because if you, you look at the, the fact that we have gone from you know, barely walking upright to sending out our own space probes in a very short period of time, so you know, 300 years of, of practical science, really. Yeah. And if you think of any, so, so I guess the one assumption you need is that there's nothing really special about Earth. And more and more, it seems that the sense, I mean, even 10 years ago, Earth seemed more special than it does now. Now we're finding planets every day that are seemingly in, in a, some kind of Goldilocks zone with respect to their star. And so if you don't think the conditions on Earth are so special, that they're really a, a dime a dozen out there in the galaxy and in other galaxies, and then you think the, just we're talking about a time window of, you know, any, any place where life gets going and, and it gets complex is very likely on, it could, could be millions of years on either side of us. Anything, anything that's complex that could build a civilization, you know, is, is not going to, that is very unlikely to have happened in the last 300 years. They, yes. they, they might as well have, you know, 300 years plus 10 million years to have gotten that going, right? So then you, you would expect just the galaxy to be awash in something that we could detect, right, that has been going on for millions of years. Um, I guess the one, the, the one additional wrinkle that, that we haven't mentioned is that there could just be something about building a complex civilization, building technology that is lethal yep. to species like ourselves. A absolutely. It could be that they're... We're you know, showing every a... sign of it being, being dangerous. Yeah, right, right, yeah. right, exactly. I mean, it could be that once you get to the point where you're able to undertake these kind of grand space journeys, you're in a very dangerous situation, and typically you don't survive. Um, there, are, there are more optimistic ways of, of explaining it, though, too. So maybe the universe is teeming with all this activity, it's just not in the wavelengths that we're looking. We're just not right. sensitive to it, right? Maybe the time scales over which the vibrations of whatever medium that they're using are, are incredibly long or incredibly short. So we just hear it as like noise in the background and don't recognize that there's a signal or we don't even have any sensitivity to it at all. 
Right. So, so, so I think bad television is coming at a different frequency. It could well be. Right, you know. Um, so, so I don't, I don't consider it a paradox. I think it's an interesting point of departure in trying to understand whether we're special, whether life is special, whether intelligence is special. But I mean, from your perspective, right? Um, uh, let's say life is commonplace. The journey from life to intelligence is non-trivial. Do you think yeah. that is uh, as straightforward as you might? assume in order to come to the conclusion that there should be all sorts of intelligence out there. Well, looking at Earth, you wouldn't draw that conclusion. I mean, Why? Even, even Why do you say that? How well, many species are there on this planet? Well, no, I'm saying, I'm, I, so I, I think I'm agreeing with you. Oh, good. Yeah, okay. that it's, it, <laughs> no, I mean, I'm, the truth is I'm even, it's non-trivial even if you look at our own species. Yes, that, that, that's the point. Yeah. Good, yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> you know, if, if, uh, you murdered the top, if, if, you, if you took, so how many people on earth at this moment deeply understand the science required to build intelligent machines, right? So if they, if they all caught a bad virus and died off, how long would it take just the people left to reinvent the computer, right? That's a, that's a non-trivial problem for most right. of us. I mean, if, you, if you leave me alone on a desert island with the, you know, the necessary elements, you're, still, you're not going to get a, an iPhone anytime soon. Uh, 